Blue Origin's boss, Jeff Bezos, is famous for suing everyone everywhere, from their rivals like SpaceX to government officials like NASA. Funnily, this time, he's being sued by even his own company. An Amazon shareholder has sued the Amazon board, including Jeff Bezos, over decisions to choose Kuiper satellite launch partners, including deliberately excluding SpaceX. It could be said that Jeff shot himself in the foot in the race with Elon Musk. The lawsuit dealt a painful blow to his company, exposing the weaknesses in the project his company was pursuing, as well as making his company once again become a farce for SpaceX as well as the aerospace industry. So what exactly happened? How does this lawsuit affect Jeff Bezos and his companies? Why not move to SpaceX for launching? Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Kuiper Satellite System is the satellite system of Amazon, a famous technology company in the world. This company is also owned by Jeff Bezos, a billionaire who is also the founder of Blue Origin. Kuiper Satellite System was created to compete with Starlink, the satellite system owned by SpaceX. This Kuiper system will consist of 3,236 satellites, launched over about a decade. According to FCC requirements, Amazon will have to launch 50% of its satellites no later than July 30th, 2026, and have to complete launching all satellites no later than July 30th, 2029. The total cost for the entire project is $10 billion, the second largest investment in Amazon's history. To meet these schedules, in April 2022, Amazon has selected and awarded contracts to launch companies that will participate and assist them in completing this project. There are four companies involved in the satellite launch of Amazon's project. The three names that are known include ULA, Arian Space, and Blue Origin. The fourth name has not been clearly revealed, but it's almost certainly not SpaceX, a company famous for launching satellites. We don't know what the Amazon board selection criteria are, but by some inadvertent intention, this board, including Bezos, has excluded SpaceX from the list of companies to partake in the project. The FCC granted Amazon approval to launch satellites in July 2020, which means that Amazon will have six years to be able to launch 50% of the satellites and nine years to complete the launch of all 3,236 satellites. However, up to now, more than half of the time, there have not been any satellites launched into orbit by the above companies. Criticism was immediately directed at those who chose the launch service provider, especially Jeff Bezos. Climactically, on August 28th, Cleveland Bakers and Teamsters Pension Fund, an Amazon shareholder, sued the Amazon board over those decisions. They accused the board of failing to do a pre-selection analysis, instead approving and signing the contract only through two cursory meetings. Obviously, without too much analysis, we can understand why the Amazon board, including Jeff Bezos, didn't choose SpaceX. The problem is perhaps simply competition and benefits. SpaceX is a longtime rival of Blue Origin, the company that Jeff Bezos founded. The lawsuit stated, By excluding SpaceX, Bezos and his management team minimized bid competition for the launch agreements and likely committed Amazon to spending hundreds of millions of dollars more than it would have otherwise had to. Therefore, this decision is considered to be tinged with personal purposes instead of a decision based on objective analysis. In fact, the companies selected by Amazon are facing many problems. Among the selected companies, Blue Origin can be considered to receive many favors and benefits from Amazon's contract. As we know, Blue Origin's a company famous for its suborbital flights. They've never launched any vehicle into Earth orbit. Their orbital vehicle, New Glenn, has been planned for production for a long time, but the launch schedule has experienced many delays. So far, it's been two years behind the initial plan. Many sources said New Glenn will launch in 2024, which means there will be no New Glenn flights to launch the Kuiper satellite this year. Moreover, as mentioned, New Glenn has never flown into orbit, so how can it immediately take on the task set by Amazon? It'll be a long process of testing and upgrades before it can launch the Kuiper satellite as planned. Besides, the launch of New Glenn depends on the BE-4 engine states. Until now, no one knows how the BE-4 production process is going. All we know about BE-4 is the explosion at the end of June. Blue Origin's slow and unclear plans are making Amazon shareholders feel impatient. The project has passed half the time. 
but the project has not had any progress is unacceptable. Next, ULA, the organization, also has many expectations for the project. But don't forget, their operations are directly influenced by Blue Origin. Their Vulcan Centaur rocket uses a BE-4 engine. Previously, their Vulcan Centaur also encountered some failure. Tori Bruno said ULA expects to launch Vulcan Centaur in the fourth quarter of 2023. But with a lack of clarity in engine production and completion from Blue Origin, a lot of skepticism will be raised with the announcement of ULA's head. As for Arian Space, their Arian 6 vehicle also experienced some delays, and its launch had to be pushed back to 2024. Thus, all three companies that the Amazon board selected are having problems, and likely, Amazon satellites will still not be able to launch into orbit this year. Meanwhile, Despite not being selected for the Kuiper project, SpaceX is still making progress. They're still the company with the most orbital launches this year. Their Falcon 9 has still launched steadily before the jealous eyes of their opponents. To date, Falcon 9 has launched 260 times, a number that the above companies will probably take a long time to reach. With its efficient launch, Falcon 9 has become the most reliable orbital launch vehicle in the aerospace industry. In addition, the price of each Falcon 9 launch is also quite cheap compared to the average price, only about $67 million for a launch. And with Falcon 9, the number of SpaceX Starlink satellites is still increasing continuously. SpaceX has launched more than 5,000 Starlink satellites into orbit, with more than half of them in operation. This number will not stop there, as Musk and SpaceX want the Starlink system to operate with 42,000 satellites to provide internet coverage worldwide. But with the current number of satellites, the Starlink system is also dominating the Earth's orbit. That demonstrated SpaceX capabilities because the Starlink system has only been deployed for four years. Because the Kuiper satellites cannot be launched into orbit yet, SpaceX's Starlink system still holds a dominant position in orbit. Even if the Kuiper system accomplishes its goals, it's unlikely that it'll be able to beat the Starlink system. Not being selected for the Kuiper project probably also helps SpaceX have more time to focus more on their projects, especially the Starship project. Recent signs show that we may witness this vehicle's second orbital test flight soon. More than ever, Amazon's current feelings are regret, disappointment, and anger with their leadership team. If they choose SpaceX, perhaps their current number of satellites in orbit will at least not be zero. Amazon is probably regretting giving their valuable money and time into the hands of weak partners. Half their time's passed. Will they want to wait for their selections or no? With Blue Origin and Jeff Bezos, they're receiving criticism for their competitive tricks. They've let personal rivalries interfere with the common work. After all, the organizations that directly receive the consequences of those decisions are Amazon and Blue Origin. Amazon will probably not meet the goal before the deadline set by the FCC. Their reputation will be seriously damaged and the ambition of a satellite system to compete with Starlink will also evaporate with time and money they spend. As for Blue Origin, their slow projects will become even slower when they're sunk into troubles caused by their boss. They'll have to stand and watch their rival. SpaceX has rapid development steps, especially with the Starship project. If Starship continues to achieve success, it'll be a greater shame and humiliation for Jeff Bezos and his associates. Let's wait to see what Jeff Bezos and his apparatus will do to clean up this mess. And don't forget to leave your thoughts about this lawsuit in the comments below. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Once again, please let us know what you think in the comments down below because your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.